the way that we're taught accounting at earlier levels yeah. is very, you will do this, then you will do this, then you do it because of, yeah. I said so. And that's yeah. it. That doesn't leave any space for curiosity. And Correct. very few lecturers will expand on that and kind of go, have you ever thought of why or like imagine or what yeah. if and how and, you know. So for me, again, my entire experience, that, that level of curiosity was never sparked because yeah. no one ever actually indicated, hey, you can ask questions and yeah. you should ask questions because mm -hmm. it was, it, it's, it's delivered as a set of laws of like, this is how it works, end of story, yeah, yeah. don't ask questions. Um, yeah. And for, you know, for students watching, I want to encourage you, you know, just because that's the way it's presented doesn't mean that that's what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and, and I mean, the stupid example I always use with my students is like, who said that valuing inventory at the lower of naturalizable value and cost is the right way to do it? Like, mm -hmm. who said that actually makes the most sense? Like, Maybe. that doesn't make sense. For, for me, as, a, as you know, someone in business, I have like fantastic statistics backing up exactly what I'm going to sell those goods for tomorrow. Why yeah. am I not allowed to record that? If I'm allowed to record the fair value of my property, why am I not allowed to record the fair value of my inventory? Like, what the hell is the difference? You know? But <laughs> until someone like shows you, oh, that's a good point. I never thought about that. It's like, hmm, yeah. no, it's a good point. We're not, I don't think accountants are trained to question because no, all of sure. our earlier levels are like, yeah, you will think this. Yeah. And only much later is it like, oh, yeah, you know, probably would be a good idea if you asked some questions. And then naturally, your first instinct is to go, well, tell me which questions to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know, in order to it's like, I have to tell my students, these are the questions you have to ask. Because we're not, we don't have a, we don't have a habit of curiosity. We don't have a habit of asking questions because we didn't know yeah. we should. Yeah, no, it, and it, it's so sad and so unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, we, we say often in, in, in education, academia, that assessment drives behavior. Absolutely, um, absolutely. The way yeah. we assess, yeah. the way we assess things, to a large extent, yeah. drives the way we teach things, drives, drives the, large the way, it's way student thinks about things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm I'm very optimistic and hopeful that you know the the new thinking around. You know, I'm obviously now focused focusing on the on the CA program, but yeah. I mean, it goes across all programs. That the way that we think about this and the skills that are really need, needed to yeah. to make our profession future proof and to keep us relevant, the standards are going to change, right? Humans have developed it, and they. Yeah. I mean, how amazing yeah. is it that you know it's just recently we have the revenue standard, new revenue standard. Yeah, I just think like seriously, we in twenty twenty three, and we now are changing the top line. <laughs> <laughs> of the statement of profit like, and don't, loss. Don't we know like, what this is already? The like, first line we item this after out? all these years <laughs> of accounting, right? We say to ourselves, no, we got it wrong. The By way, way we did yeah, it's not right. True. Top line. <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. Um, like, shouldn't we know this by now? <laughs> like, like, yeah. Should, should we not have figured out by now this works? Um, yeah, yeah. But the standards are going to change. But, mm. you know, the, the skills, the, the enduring skills, Mm. Um, you know, I really hope that that and these are the type of things, right? Talking mm. through things, debating mm. things, discussing mm. things. Does it make sense? Um, mm. Critiquing things. Um, I, I hope our programs will have more space for that. Yeah, um, I agree. and and I agree. and just less less focus on subparagraph, paragraph one fifty seven, subparagraph C, yeah, subparagraph yeah. four A. Yeah, <laughs> I think why it, it why, is. why 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 yeah, why because. It's going to change. And so there's no point in you perfectly remembering and perfectly learning yeah. that particular version of the standard because, you know, in three years time, it's going to be different. And then you're not going to go back and redo your qualification. So the important mm -hmm. component is to, to learn how to learn so Correct. that if there is a change, you can understand what the impact of the change is and how it actually works as opposed to going, well, that's it. That's all I've got. Yep. You know, that's, to, you know, there's nothing yeah, else. And to focus on, on, on enduring principles and to say, like, if I'm faced with yeah. a scenario, now I can think through this. I think this is the way it works, yeah. but I know where to go and look. Yeah. To yeah. check my understanding and to make sure, you know, I've, but to, to develop that kind of gut feel intuition yeah. around things yeah. because yeah. you understand it. You know the economic activity, the logic you understand it, yeah. the objective of accounting, mm. what we're trying to achieve. And if you use those things, you can, can 
construct an answer or solution. And then yeah. say, all right, let me now check what the standard says. <laughs> Let's see what they actually say. <laughs> yeah. Does it make sense? <laughs> and I, I think, for example, one way we 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 can change our teaching a little bit is um is to actually have a discussion with students about economic transactions before we go yeah. into this. Yes. This yeah, yeah. How would you account now, for it? What yeah. would you do? You yeah. have a clean slate. You are the standard setter. 100%. What this looks like this. What now? Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. go through, oh, okay, but let's see what the standard says and why does it differ to your yeah. answer? Or yeah. What to this? move in this direction instead, of, we're always going backwards. Like someone has already decided this is what it's going to look yes. like. And so you're just filtering it through Correct. the pipeline. I was, I, was, I was watching an interview with Elon Musk a while ago and um, he started a school. He started a school for his kids and whoever was interviewing him was like, what's the, what's the deal? Obviously you can afford, you know, any school that's out there. Like, why did you start your own school for your kids? And, and he's kind of included, you know, friends of his. And his, he said his, his problem with the education system is that the education system teaches to tools, not problems. So he's like, if, you know, if I'm teaching someone to take apart an engine, what this currently, what the school situation or the school system does is teach you what a screwdriver is and teach you, you know, teach yeah. you the wrench and da, da, da. but you, you don't understand the interaction and the interplay between the problem, which is I need to get this thing off or I need to, yeah. so introduce the people to the engine. I'm like, okay, this is, I need to take this thing yeah. apart. I need to break. Oh, look, I can't use my fingers. Okay. That's not yeah. working. I need something else. So um, and I really loved that interview because for me, that is, you know, I feel like that's the shift we need to make. And, and as students, you're going to get a lot further in your studying and you're going to be able to apply and integrate your knowledge a lot further if you stop and ask the question, what is the problem yeah. here? Costing mm -hmm. was designed to solve a solution. And there are a right. ton of costing methodologies because the problems all look kind of different depending on the type mm -hmm. of business you have. So if you understand why this business has this problem that wouldn't be solved by that, if you understand the shape of the problem, yeah. then the tool becomes a lot easier to use. Correct. Um, and even if, and the beauty now, even if your lecturer doesn't introduce the shape of the problem to you, you can go find it. Oh, for you know, sure. You've got Google, you've got ChatGPT, but shifting the focus from the solution to like, what's the problem here? Yeah. You know, yeah. then it becomes a lot more interesting and sure. you know, we're not learning the rules, we're learning, you know, we're learning tools. And the tools, yeah, and the tools then make way more sense. Yeah, and the tools can change because they might change, Yeah, but you still understand the problem and you're used to thinking in problems. Sure. What is the problem here? Whereas I think we are designed or like we're encouraged or maybe like oh, brainwashed is such a bad word but we're like programmed to think in solutions we've got to yeah. like we've got to know the answer before we approach the problem we function in a system right and we do we do not necessarily question the system no um, we accept <laughs> no. that uh, we accept <laughs> yeah. the system and that it's working and that it's in our best interest which yeah. it is and there's the um, answer for everything and i should yeah. know the answer for um, everything. but we're not we, we we sure um but those skills are needed right yeah, those I skills guess. of questioning asking why yeah. critiquing thinking that's what we need now. That that's yeah. something that that's future proofing us. That 100%. cannot be replaced. No. Um, yeah. Um, you know that that's a higher level of of applying yourself and yeah. making a contribution yeah. to society than you know just crunching out numbers and putting putting things through a through a, a grinder. Yeah.